Hi everyone, in this video I'll introduce you to the new activities in Diablo Immortal, which are quite cool to do, so I'll tell you about the raids, the world boss, the PvP and the dungeons. I'll start with the PvP because it's the one with the most information. So first thing is that you cannot access when you want. You can go in PvP from 8 to 10, 12 to 14, 18 to 20 and 22 to midnight. You'll have an offensive and defensive team with 8 people and a ranking system. So now I'll tell you a few tips in order to get the MVP and help your team to win the game. It may seem obvious but you need to die the less possible. If you are out of fight you can use some bandage to heal yourself and if you are in the fight you can use the life orbs. They'll come very handy if you want to turn a fight. This one may also seem obvious, but I can promise that a lot of players don't follow this simple trick. Don't fight if you are under number. It's easy, you just need to wait for your team. Don't die alone. If you see that there are six people in front of you and that you are four, don't force the fight. Third one, focus on the objective. It's very important if you are in offense or defense to either protect or attack with the objectives. Don't spend too much time fighting on a point without objective and try to secure it as fast as possible. Last tip, change your skills because on the PvP you'll want some CC and CC resistance. It's the most powerful if you can stun your enemy you will probably win the fight. And you'll need the mobility spell in order to run away if you are low life or to chase someone with few HP. Don't forget that for the daily quest you need to do it 3 times and it's very interesting for the loot so don't forget to do it. The second activity is the wall boss they pop when you are farming in the areas. You'll have a message saying that Mr. X will spawn on the map and invite you to kill you. It's a global event meaning that anyone in the area can go and kill him. You'll of course need the help of your allies because they are very powerful even if the drops aren't always here. Nevertheless, they'll upgrade your codex so if you can, kill them. Two things that you need to know, the first one is that you have to very well handle your potions because you won't have much to kill the boss. Second one is don't reset the boss, it happens to me about 10 times a player just drag him out of the area and he will reset. So if you are in difficulty, just die, go back to the boss but don't reset him because you'll have to start all over again. Third one are the dungeon, you can play with up to 4 players or in solo and the level of the dungeon will match your current level, meaning that you can do the ones that you like. If you've been used to Diablo 3, you are maybe a bit bored of rushing the rift, so this one is a good option because it's very less linear than the rift, so it's a good way to play on Diablo Immortal. Last one, the reds, you need to be absolutely 8 in a party, meaning that if you don't have enough friends, you'll be forcing to play with public players and it will be much harder to succeed in killing this boss. If you manage to kill him, you'll have a buff to your character in the Hordric Reliquary, so it's very important to do it and to gain this buff for your character. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoy watching this video about the activities of Diablo Immortal and don't forget that you find everything on our website dmgaming.eu. Bye bye!